Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try two different kinds of pimento cheese. These are by Tom's Tiny Kitchen. I've got the classic all natural pimento cheese and the chipotle uh, pimento cheese. So these are the ones I'm going to try. We bought these at Walmart. They were $5.96. It's a little expensive, but I guess if you're going to buy all the stuff to make your own pimento cheese, you'll probably spend that much anyway. And that's, it's, uh, you're paying for the convenience of it. So there you go. So let's talk about the regular first. So it is just the classic pimento cheese. Keep refrigerated is 18 ounces or 340 grams. The font's a little weird for me. Nutrition, it is two tablespoons is about 120 calories or 28 grams. I am going to weigh it out. So, so there's your other information for you. And there's no directions, of course, because it's just pimento cheese. And the Chipotle one. No, it doesn't say what it is, so I'm assuming it's going to be a smoky chipotle pepper. Um, it is 10 more calories, so two tablespoons or 28 grams of this is 120 calories. And the other one was, was 110? No, it was also 120 calories. So two tablespoons, 120 calories. So not too bad. There's other information for you. So, let's get these opened. Okay, it's got like a little, like a flap around it, for lack of a better word, like a little... A little flap around there that kind of holds it in place. Well, maybe you don't pull that off, but you don't. You just kind of work your way around. Yeah, that'll be hard to get back on. Um, so there's that, and then this one is. I'm gonna prop it up all the way around if I can. Yeah, I wish they had like a little pull tab all the way around to where you could just like grab it and unlock it because it really doesn't like to come off. Get back in there, cheese. All right, so there's my two styles, and I've got. Uh, let's see if I can get this all in one spot. There we go. I'm gonna scale, let me turn it on. And I, what I'm gonna do is make half sandwiches. So I'm gonna make half of this one and then half of this one, but let's see how much 28 grams is. Pretty thick uh, cheese. Right there's 28, literally. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what you get for 120 calories not too bad i guess i mean you're gonna have to double that definitely to make an actual sandwich maybe even more than that so that's how much you get i'm gonna basically spread it on half and just fold it over that's how i'm gonna eat that half and then the other one not much reason to really show you, but we can, I can still show you what 28 grams looks like. Probably too much. <laughs> I missed the bread. Yeah, 37. So that's too much of a calorie. So that's way over the 120. So that's how much I'm going to give the, the Chipotle is definitely a drier chili. I mean, a drier pimento cheese. Um, it doesn't have as much moisture in there. So I'm gonna take this over to the table and I'll be back. Hey, good thing is I don't have to let anything cool off because it's already cool. So I'm gonna try the regular first. You get the, the good cheese flavor. You get the pimentos, which are, have that kind of like that vinegary kind of pickly flavor, pickled pimentos flavor. That one has a little bit of a, has an odd spice to it. It's good. I wish the cheese was a little stronger and I don't, well, I think the cheese is fine. I think it's offset by the spice in there that I don't really care for. It's a spice that 
don't know what kind of spice they put in there, but I don't like it. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if they pick, they, the pimentos are like soaked in this spice or they're mixing it with the cheese or whatever. I just, yeah, I don't care for the spice they added to it. I mean, I could eat it. I could sit here and eat every bit of it um, and be fine, but it's not, it's not somebody I'd want to buy again necessarily. So let me try the Chipotle one. It definitely has a smokiness to it. Got a little heat to it. You get a little tingle in the back of your throat, a little burn. Um, I like the smoky. It's a little too smoky for me, honestly. The um, I don't get that spice like I got on the first one, so it must be just with their original, uh, their classic or whatever. This one, I mean, it's not bad. I, I don't mind the smokiness. Um, and I, I like the little bit of spice in there. I like the little heat. You know what? If you like the, that, that smoky flavor, if you really want like a smoky cheese flavor, I think it's really good. Some of the pimento flavor has gone away though. That that vinegary kind of flavor, that is almost gone with the with the chipotle one. So. You know, truth be told, I think they're okay meals. I mean, I think they're okay pimento cheeses. I'm going to give them both threes out of fives. I don't necessarily care for the spice in the regular or the classic one. I think I can get used to it, but it's not something I necessarily want to buy again because once I eat it, it's like, eh, it's just okay. I really don't like it, but it, I could get used to it. Um, it's not a two because I don't really like, ugh, I'm not going to eat that anymore. Um, but it isn't something I would buy again. Um, but it, So it's just regular everyday meal. Um... The Chipotle one is good, but again, for me personally, this is my personal taste. Um, it's a little too smoky for me. I don't like that um, smoky flavor overriding all the um, the good pimento flavor. So, yeah, both of these are threes for me. I mean, try them out. If you if that smoky Chipotle flavor and your little burn sounds good to you, try it out. If uh, you want that uh, pimento cheese flavor that has a little bit of a funky flavor, I don't know what the spice is, um, you can try it out, see if you like them. I think they're a little expensive for what they are. Again, if you were to buy the stuff, I'm sure it would cost you that much to make your own, but you probably have a bigger bowl of it. Um, I think there's better flavors, uh, brands out there than this one. This one's not one. I think I'd probably buy other pimento cheese instead of this one. Let's put it that way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.